Well, a very good Tuesday morning, everybody, and welcome to uh, the latest edition in uh, Reverend Emma's and my own uh, Take a Moment. So I hope you've got a Bible. Uh, look up the book of Galatians, chapter 5, uh, a cuppa, perhaps, in your hand uh, as we take a moment together. Uh, before we begin, just to highlight a couple of new things that's happening through uh, Lent, which is tomorrow, believe it or not. Uh, firstly, every Wednesday evening in Lent, we'll be having a live Bible study uh, at the moment on Zoom, but we all wait to hear what the executives say later this week. Uh, so check out the details of that and uh, different members of the, the congregation are going to be leading a, a live study and then we can ask questions and encourage one another uh, and everything will be available after the event online to follow as well. So each Wednesday evening through Lent at half past seven, the great prayers of Jesus. And then the Balamina Ministers Fellowship Group uh, are doing a series of Friday Reflections uh, approaching the cross. So each Friday a different minister from a different congregation will be leading a reflection and we'll be advertising that leading to a longer event on Good Friday. Uh, so please check those things out. So now let's begin our take a moment with a word of prayer. Father, uh, we thank you for a good night's sleep and for the gift of a new day. Now, Lord, as we begin it in your presence and in your word, we ask for your encouragement. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1, a great verse about freedom in Christ, freedom to and freedom from. And to help illustrate this, I want to tell one of my wee stories about Jack and Sally, a brother and sister. You know what brothers and sisters can be like. And uh, at Christmas, uh, they were opening their presents and Jack was delighted where he, he got a toy catapult. Uh, and you can imagine a wee lad and a catapult, no better gift. I think my favourite gift as a child was a, a matchbox motorway and a bow and arrow set. Uh, looking back over the years, and I immediately started to do target practice on my smallest brother's head uh, against the bedroom door with the bow and arrow. So you can kind of tell what's coming here. So uh, a way to see grandparents who lived out in the countryside, showing them their Christmas gifts. Jack couldn't wait to get out into the yard. And he was warned, you be careful of that catapult. And uh, he was letting fly left, right and centre. And he really didn't mean to do this, but he let fly with a particularly vicious shot. And he hit his granny's pet duck square in the head and killed it. And his wee heart broke uh, and he didn't know what to do. So he hid the duck. And what he didn't know was his little sister, but a year and a half younger than him, uh, had been watching the whole time and thought she was going to make use of this. So, of course, granny and granda's uh, chores to be done, uh, and uh, whether it was washing dishes, going to the market, uh, helping granda with the horses, uh, there were things they loved to do and things that they really didn't like to do, and Sally just milked it as wee brother or as wee sister. Uh, every time granda suggested something, she would come up and say to her brother, remember the duck, uh, and he had to give way. And this went on for a whole week until eventually we Jack couldn't stick it any longer. And he, with a trembling lip, went up to his granny and confessed what he had done. And she threw him into a big hug and said, Do you know what? I was at the window and saw everything you did anyway. And I forgave you. It was a silly gift to give you in the first place. I just wanted to see how long you would let your sister make a slave of you. There's the point, isn't it? Uh, it really captures, in essence, what sin does to the life and the heart and the thinking of an individual. It captures us. It makes a slave of us. It is inescapable. It is the opposite of what God, our Heavenly Father, wants us to experience and wants us to know. Uh, he wants us to know freedom, freedom from guilt, uh, freedom from punishment, freedom from uh, giving in, freedom to obey, freedom to be pure, freedom to be holy. Uh, and uh, just because we begin a Christian walk, just because we invite Christ into our heart, it doesn't stop the devil's machinations. He still tries to tempt and to accuse 
and to bring us back to that place of slavery. He tries to rob us of that great gift of God for the believer of freedom from an old way of life and freedom to a new way of life. So I guess the question from our Jack and Sally story this morning is, are you still being held a slave when you really don't need to? Are you still giving in to the lies of the accuser rather than listening to the truth of God? Do you need a moment this Lent, this Shrove Tuesday, this Ash Wednesday, the days that come? Do you need a moment of, of confession and cleansing of your soul so that those shackles of slavery fall away and you are renewed in the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit and the peace of Christ afresh in your life. So how long will you be a slave? And I suppose the subtext of this we thought is be very careful what you buy your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids uh, for for Christmas or birthday. You may well have to face the implications of your gift in the years to come. I'm going to pray for us as we close our Take a Moment this Tuesday. Father in heaven, we thank you for the many gifts you give us today. We pray that we will put them into good use just as the season of Lent begins. Give us time, extra time to be with you, to think, to read, to pray, to take stock, to approach the cross in a new way, in a fresh, expectant way. Lord, we pray for those who are sad today, those who are facing uncertainty today, uh, those who are depressed and down because of the days in which we live. Lord, will you draw close to them, give them what they need and accompany them dearly and deeply through this life journey. Thank you for these texts and there are many in scriptures like Galatians 5.1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Lord, help us to stand firm against the accuser's lie and to appreciate and know deeply in our lives the freedom of the Lord Jesus Christ. All these things we pray in the Saviour's name. Amen. God bless you, everybody, and have a great Tuesday.